All right, so this morning we're gonna start building a little cut like a vanity cupboard for our bathroom sink. Now we just, we had bought a little tiny bathroom sink from Ikea, but the cabinet that Ikea has that's made to go with that sink, just, uh, we didn't really like it that much, so we're gonna just build our own. So we just kind of drew up a little you know, a little design um, last night. And we're just gonna take some of our scrap plywood that we have left over from all of our cabinetry and we're gonna get going on building this to fit that I little Ikea sink that we have. All right, so we're plumbing in the little vanity that we've built, um, well, that we're building. So we need hot and cold water, and then we're gonna do electric via this. Um, and there's one more little small controller for the hot water. And so we're gonna run those lines as well up through the bottom. So we've gotta drill three holes all the way to the bay and then we're going to put them in line with this drain here because the bottom shelf is going to slide in and so we're going to leave the back open so that if we ever have problems down here we need to access this we can slide out the bottom shelf and so it makes sense then to put the other lines back behind it so that's what we're going to try so here we go
Okay, so we have the cabinet all put together. We do have a couple little touch-up spots that we're gonna have to fix. Um, and we're just gonna do like a finished sanding on it. Um, the paint's not fully cured yet. So um, I don't know, in a couple days, we'll like kind of give it a nice polish and uh, do little touch-ups that we need to fix. But before we fully install it, we have two things that we need to put on it first. And that is an electrical outlet. Um, so we are gonna do just a, like a GFI outlet um, on the side of the cabinet. And we also have this little monitor for our tankless water heater. So we have the Gerard WGH2 or something like that. But it has this little monitor that you keep in the bathroom and you can set the temperature. So like if I like my shower hotter than Juan likes his shower, I can just set the temperature on here and then all I have to do is turn on the water to full hot and it'll make it that temperature for me. And same thing then if Juan wants to turn the temperature down before he gets in the shower, then he just comes over here and turns it down and it tries to keep it at that temperature. So we're gonna install this here and an electrical outlet here. And so we wanna go ahead and get those cut and installed before we install the cabinet in the bus. So that's what we're gonna do now. So this is the sink we got from Ikea. It's really small, um, just the right size for our bathroom. And so we've purchased this sink or this faucet and we've installed the hoses and the little brass knob or the little brass fixture. 
and we're gonna install it. So we wanna install it at an angle, but there's gonna be a wall here, so we've gotta kind of play with the angle. But it comes with a couple rubber seals mm -hmm. um, and a big nut for the bottom. So we're just gonna install it and then get it inside. pretty lined up. Okay, I am getting ready to caulk the back of the sink. So all along this back edge and down the side. I actually already did um, the bottom of the sink all the way around and that turned out really well. So this is the caulk that I'm using. It's by DAP, it's called Extreme Stretch. And so hopefully that will help prevent any kind of shrinking or cracking as the weather changes as we travel. Um, so the one tip that I had read and seemed to work really well to keep nice clean lines is, well obviously tape it off really well, and then after you <clears throat> use the gun to put the caulk in, just use a wet finger to just kind of push it in all of the gaps, and then as soon as you're done with that, before it's dry, pull your tape off, and that should leave a nice clean line for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get this back part done, and then we should be finished pretty much with everything on the vanity other than adding the cabinet door um, later. We're not going to do that quite yet, but um, other than that, the vanity will be finished. All right, so I squeezed it on with the gun, and I'm going to attempt to... <laughs> 
try and record myself doing this. I'm not very good at doing this kind of thing one-handed, so we will see how it goes. kind of hard to get back in here. So just kind of keep a little Tupperware of water available and keep cleaning your finger as you go. So that is it. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape off and we'll see how this looks. Not too bad. Um, I'm gonna clean up a couple little spots, but I think it looks all right. And then it just needs to dry and then we'll be done. All right, so everything is finished. Um, we're really happy with how the vanity turned out. Um, a couple things that I wanted to show you is that we actually ended up redoing this bottom piece. Um, the way the Ikea sink drain works, like this drain up here comes with the Ikea sink and it allows it to like push everything over into a corner and get it out of the way so you have more free space in your sink. And then we plumbed in the Hetvo valve and, or the trap. And then, so instead of like, originally we had the drain pipe coming up here and then you know, we were gonna kind of move it over and then up, but that just wasted space in our cabinet. So since we had like four inches of space down below this shelf, we just did that part of the plumbing down there um, where we shifted it over to the corner. So we recut this bottom piece to only allow the pipes and stuff up in this area. And then the drain, is over here in this corner. And that just allows us to be nice and open. It'll give us a lot of space. And we will eventually add a shelf in here once we kind of know what's gonna go in here and what size of like baskets or bins we wanna put in here, we will build a little shelf in here. So other than a couple little spots of touch up paint, building a shelf and then we'll add the cabinet door, which we've already made. We'll just wait to install it until later. Um, we're done with our little vanity and we're really happy with how it turned out. It's little, just the right size for just hand washing and teeth brushing and that's about it. So we're uh, really pleased with it and we're gonna move on to the next project.